Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be going over creating uh, kind of an improved patrol AI from the previous patrolling uh, AI video that I did. Um, in, in the last video that I did on the, the patrolling AI, it was kind of a rudimentary setup um, that required you to kind of copy code, um, which isn't really efficient and um, not very helpful. So in this one, we'll just be making it a lot more efficient and um, so that he can, you know, once he gets to the end of his patrol route, he'll just loop back and, you know, you can dynamically add as many patrol points as you want and he'll just, you know, adapt to it. So just a quick look at what we're doing. He, um, we'll create this AI who will run to his different points. Um, and then once he gets to the last point, which is over here, he will, you know, loop back to his starting point. So we'll see that in a sec. And there he goes. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so first off, uh, I just wanted to point out really quick that I'm using the third person uh, example project from uh, Unreal, and also I'm using 4.14.1. So um, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, create our character. So in the content browser, let's go ahead and right click and create a blueprint class and then choose character. And we'll just call this BP underscore AI character. Okay, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, next, we're going to create our AI controller. Um, so again, right-click in the content browser, go to Blueprint Class, and then this time we need to search through all classes to find our AI controller. So go ahead and pick AI controller, all right? And then we'll call this BP underscore AI controller. Now, you don't necessarily have to create this AI controller because um, there is a default one that you can use, but I like to do it in case um, I ever want to add, uh, you know, extra functionality inside the AI controller. All right, so we'll just hit save all for now. And then let's go ahead and open up our AI con our character. And right away, we'll click the mesh. And um, in the details panel under mesh, we will choose the SK mannequin. And this comes with the third person example project. Um, but you can use, you know, of course, whatever uh, skeletal mesh you want. Um, so now let's just, like I'm doing here, adjust it uh, so that it fits within the capsule a little better. Okay. Then uh, we'll go ahead and choose its animation blueprint. So for anim class here, uh, we'll choose third person anim BP, and now he's you know ready to animate. All right, next let's choose the capsule component, and under shape, we're going to change this to about 94 or not 84, 94, and then the capsule radius to about 40. Now I like to do this uh, because it you know it gives him a little more room um, for more accurate I guess collision, so he doesn't like clip through geometry. Um, Okay, so then the last thing that we'll do for now uh, is we'll click on our self here, and then under AI controller class, which is under pawn, um, we'll go ahead and click the drop down and choose that BP AI controller that we just created. Now, if you can't find that, um, you can just type in AI controller and it will show up. Okay, perfect. So, pound save. And now um, we can go ahead and start setting up the function that we'll use. So let's go to the event graph and we'll delete these bottom two here, the actor begin overlap and the tick, um, but we will be using the begin play, okay? So um, next what we'll do is we're gonna create what's called a recursive function. Uh, for any of you programmer types out there, you might already know what that is, but basically that's just a fancy word for a function that calls itself, okay? So we'll right click, create a custom event, and we'll just call this patrol to point, okay? And now, basically what we're going to do uh, with this function is um, on event begin play, we will call it. Okay, so patrol the point. And what we want it to do is we want it to um, basically get some kind of point. Um, so in this case, we're going to use um, what are called target points. Uh, so we want to get a point from kind of an array of points. And then we want to move to it. And then after we've moved to it, we want to tell our AI to move to the next place. And then finally, we will, you know, call this uh, patrol to point again, so that you know we can continue patrolling. Okay. So uh, to do all this, we need to add a couple variables. So the first variable that we'll add, um, we'll call this patrol points, and we're going to change its variable type here to a target point. Now you can totally use like actors, or you could create your own um, blueprint class. Uh, you know, for adding further functionality, but I like to use the target point just because it's kind of specifically made for um, getting kind of locations of, of things. So um, that's why we're going to use a target point here. So we'll use the reference, all right? 
Next, we want to make this an array so that we can add multiple different target points. And then we'll make it editable so that we can edit it um, you know, out here uh, on each individual AI. So we'll compile and save that. And now you should see that we have you know, an array. Um, OK. So next, what we need to do is add another variable. And this we will call um, patrol point index. OK. Um, and basically, what this is going to be is it will be an integer. So we'll make it an integer and then make it not an array anymore. So just a regular, you know, one integer. And basically what we're going to use it for is getting the kind of the current patrol point that we're at um, in this array. Okay, so say we have, you know, five elements. Okay, so I'm just adding five really quick. Um, you'll notice that the indices um, start from zero and then, you know, go up to four. So um, basically how we'll use this then is we'll just say, um, you know, get index zero, you know, is the first one and then move to that one. And then after we've moved to it, we'll tell it, you know, to move to index one and then index two all the way to the end. So um, let's go ahead and do that then. So we'll take our patrol points here, we'll drag it out and we'll get it. And then we want to drag off of the array here and say get. And this will allow us to get a specific index from the array. So that index is going to be this patrol point index. So we'll drag it out and just attach it. Okay. Now by default, it's at zero, which is exactly what we want. Um, let's just go ahead and delete these all really quick so we have zero array elements by default. Okay. So now that we know which index we're at, okay, we want to tell our AI to move to that uh, patrol point. So we'll say AI move to, oops, my keyboard's a little slow today, AI move to. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and plug this into our target actor. Now, if the pawn we need to specify, and that pawn is simply going to be our self. So we'll just type self and do that. Okay, and then you can ch tweak the acceptance radius if you want, but we're just going to leave it at 5. All right, so now on success, which is basically um, this gets fired when we successfully reach that point, um, we are going to do a check. So we'll do a branch. And what we want to check is we want to see if we've reached the end of our uh, patrol points. Okay. So to do that, we'll get our patrol points. Then we want to get the length of the array. Okay, so now um, this will return the number of items in the array, as it says here, right? So if we click on this, and you know I add like three, right? You'll see that this will this will return a value of three in this scenario. Okay, but its index for that third element, the last element, is going to be two. So we just need to take this length and make it um, zero based. So we'll just do a simple integer minus integer, we'll minus one, and now you know it's it's ready to work with our indices here. So next we'll get our patrol point index, and we just want to check if it is greater than or equal to that last point. Okay. So basically, if um, if it's greater than or equal to that last point, then that means we've reached the last point, and now we want to start over. So to do that, we'll simply set patrol point index to zero. Okay. And then we will call patrol to point again. All right. So now um, handling the false case here. So basically, if we haven't reached the end, then all we want to do is just take our patrol point index and increment it. And that will just basically, you know, add one, that's all it does. So we'll add one, and then again, patrol to point. All right, so there we go. We have our function set up. So just a quick walkthrough again, what it's going to do. Um, so on event begin play, it'll call patrol to point, which you know gets the you know the current index of our patrol point, moves the AI to it, and then when it's reached that point, it will determine you know should it move to the next point, which is this case, or should it move back to the beginning. Okay. So we'll go ahead and compile and save. Now back in the editor here, we'll take our AI and drag him out. Right, but he's not ready to move yet because we are missing two things. The first thing is we need what's called a nav mesh bounds volume, and this basically uh, just creates a um, kind of projection of where the AI can move. So we'll go ahead and take this, and this is under volumes again. So we'll take this, drag it out, and now to kind of visualize where it's generating, if you just hit the P key, it will show up green, so you can see kind of you know just everywhere that it's uh, kind of generating. All right, so next with it selected, we'll go ahead and just, you know, make it so it fully encompasses the uh, the whole map here. Like 
so. Maybe raise it up in the Z a little bit so it gets up here. And there we go. All right. So now the very last thing we need to do is just add our target points. So to find them, if you just go to all classes and then search for target point, um, you should be able to find them. So we'll go ahead and drag a couple out here. So we'll drag one. There it is. Um, put another, you know, maybe over here or something. Another up there. And then one more over here. Okay, so he's just got four points. So he'll basically just patrol between these. All right. So now we just need to select our AI. And then, um, oops, I forgot one thing. I had added those uh, extra elements but not deleted them. Um, so I'm just going to delete them. Um, but by default, you can have you know as many points as you want to start. Um, so, but I'm just going to start it from zero. Okay. So anyways, we're going to take our AI here and go under defaults for patrol points, and I'm going to add four, okay? And then we'll just select these target points. So you can do that two ways. One way is just selecting them from here, okay? Another way is you can actually go up to it and click this little eyedropper and then select the actual point, all right? And of course, you can do this in any order that you want. You don't have to just do it, you know, in this order, but a patrol route is usually going to follow some kind of, you know, circular pattern of some sort. All right. So now, if all is working, um, I'm just going to hit P here to toggle that off. But if everything is working, our AI should move to this point to start and then go all the way around. So we'll simulate. Here he's going. He's going to run to his points. And then when he gets to this last one, he should start over. All right. So we see it's working, and that's kind of great. Um, but you will notice that he's kind of snapping, you know, when he turns, and that's not exactly ideal. So let's just look at how to fix that really quick and, you know, kind of smooth it out. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our AI character really quick, and we just need to do two things. So click on self first, um, and we'll just go ahead and untick this use controller rotation. Yeah, um, to be honest, this might not be necessary, but, you know, just kind of safety. Um, then we'll go to character movement, and we're going to scroll down to rotation settings. So it's a little ways down here, right here, character movement, rotation settings. And we're going to go ahead and tick both of these. So orient rotation movement and use controller desired rotation. OK. So now um, then there's this value here called rotation rate, which um, basically it will turn this amount um, per second. OK. So I usually find 360 is pretty good. Um, but you can make it lower or higher to either make him turn slower or faster. So now let's go ahead and look at this again. Um, oh, and in case you don't know how uh, to simulate like I just did, you just click this little drop down and then you can choose to simulate. Okay, so we'll simulate. And now you can see when he reaches his points, he kind of turns a little more smoothly. All right. So there you have it. There's how to set up kind of a, a better patrol. Um, I will be doing a you know future tutorial series on you know doing this kind of behavior in behavior trees because that's ultimately um, the best way in my opinion. But this definitely works. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you like the videos, like or like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.